Ordinary people in Britain seriously need to wake up to the fact that we are being captured by an ever-increasing number of hardline communist organisations that are becoming more and more emboldened by the day. Just Stop Oil have long marched alongside communist groups. Communist organisations are behind the student pro-Palestine protest taking place at the moment. There is a huge crossover between communist groups and the wider pro-Palestine movement. There was a communist member of SAGE who said that she wanted government restrictions on our day-to-day -day lives to last forever. The head of the National Education Union has attended the Socialist Workers' Marxist Conference. We have communist and radical left-wing groups organising mobile mobs to prevent the Home Office from taking people out of migrant hotels. This network is the Anti-Raids Coalition. They work hand-in-hand -hand with organisations like Black Lives Matter, which has openly published a Marxist manifesto. It is time to prescribe the radical far left as the extremist groups they really are, and they should be made to pay for the damage they cause. We have been too complacent for too long in Britain, and it is time to say enough is enough. The anti-extremism czar, Lord Walney, has said this. These organisations have not yet been judged to, to uh, meet the terrorist threshold, which is clearly defined and the Home Secretary has to rule on. But um, there is that space where organi if organisations are clearly using criminal tactics, they are not being deterred by the, um, the individual uh, um, offences that, that our activists are being charged with. Um, but prescription has worked in the terrorist context to be able to restrict the, uh, the activities of certain organisations. Okay. It's not perfect, but it, it, it can okay. be an important tool. If they are prescribed as extremists, then the police can actually step in and arrest them. This weekend saw more calls for intifada on the streets. And we've got police who feel too scared to act, but who will arrest individuals if they push somebody back after being shoved themselves by hardline members of the pro-Palestine brigade. Like a scene out of 1930s Germany, ordinary Jewish people who wanted to attend a Jewish film festival in Hampstead were greeted by people who turned up and started chanting about resistance. MPs even have fake dead babies put on their office steps, like Siobhan Bailey in Gloucestershire. Taxpayers have to fork out an extra £31 million for bodyguards and protective equipment for MPs, some of whom are wearing stab vests. But it's more than that. They're impacting people's lives, stopping ambulances, taking up police time, causing criminal damage, ruining businesses, preventing students from going to lectures. Britain has been too complacent. Whilst people have been sitting around, drinking shabbily and moaning around Brexit, the radical socialists and the communists have been organising and mobilising and they are not going to simply just grow out of their ideology. They are here for revolution and we need to wake up to that.